Hello everybody! Today I am going to show you how to simply fix your graphics in hopefully 5 minutes to make it look exactly how you want it to look without ever having to worry about it ever again. So what I'm going for today is going to be a sunset vibe. Now to obtain this what I need to do is I need to change the time of day which you can do by opening the SOL Sol Planner and then picking your time of day here, night, dawn, sunrise, morning, noon, afternoon, evening, sunset, dusk, and then turning this arrow so this multiplier is zero, that means this time will not move, so whatever time you decide you want to put your game at is the time that it will stay. So today we want to do a sunset vibe now if you want to add weather on its own, you go into these boxes and you pick them that corresponds with the time of day. Night being 1, dusk being 9, and a sunset for me being 8. And I'm going to hit the clear sky. And now we are done with our time and our weather because I'm going to be making my own weather here. Now the thing is, if you did want to add wetness and puddles and rain with the paid version of CSP from X4Fab on Patreon for a dollar, you can do all that here. I'm going to add it in at the end so you can see what it looks like at the end and the difference that it can make. Now we have our time of day and our time of day is not going to move. <clears throat> Perfect. Now I'm going to hit Ultra on the performance presets. Then I am going to go to the quality and just go ahead and up that to 200%. It's always so hard to just use the mouse to click that all the way to the end. Alright, now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to go here and lower the saturation by about 20 points. I just like to lower the saturation because myself, I don't like to see my colors like this. I don't like that at all. I don't like how colorful and vibrant things actually get. I find it adds a lot of unrealistic feel. So we're going to go for a little more realism here and do 80% there. Now, one other big thing that is very important is the glare. You'll notice right now I've got no real glare coming off of the car. The lights aren't really glary at all. So watch what happens when I turn the glare threshold down all the way and then hit modify glare. Now we've got lots of glare going on. It's it's almost looking like humid out. It's looking really dry and pasty. So I'm going to just go ahead and change that because I do like having some glare. I do like it. I don't like it bright to the point where it actually really looks annoying. Now modify spectrum. Pay attention to how blue the road and stuff looks here. The, it's just looking a little blue. The white on the back of this truck here is a little blue. Though the gray going along here opposed to the gray going along there is also very blue on this garage building. So let's see if I hit modify spectrum. It doesn't completely fix it with just that. So we will fix that. We just won't fix that right this second. But we will keep that on. Now... The next thing that we're going to do here is we can hit Control by Sol for the lights. This is going to give us a complete and total light adjustment situation that we can have, which I will also show you. Um, the other thing I want to do real quick is I want to go into my custom weather. I want to make the ambience a little more. It makes things a little less blue. And another thing I want to do is I want to add in my two layers of clouds that I'm going to be using. And I like to make them really dense. I like to have a lot of the clouds in the sky. And I'll give them a little bit of water filled just so the color of the clouds has a little more oranginess to it. Uh, the reason it's going to have a little more orange to it is because it's the sunset time of day, right? So, you know, if I put them to have more water filled, I'll get a little more color, which I want. It does make it quite a bit more sunsetty out. So now I've got a sunset going on. I've got my track. My lines are no longer all blue looking and stuff like that. Nothing along the sides is blue. That gray on the building here does not look blue anymore. The back of the truck does not look blue. So with a couple minutes, I've just took out all of the blue out of my game that was super super annoying and so ugly man I hate that I cannot stress how much I hate when white is blue 
and it, ah, it just bothers me so much. So anyways, we got that figured out now. I'll stop ranting about the really horrible color correction that's on this game to start out with. Uh, smog is totally dependent on you. Um, you can have all sorts of different smog going on here. Now, because we are in a bit of a sunset, I do want to hold that that sunset look. I am going to have a little bit of smog here on this nice bright day. And now I can see in the background, I'm starting to get a lot of reflection and stuff off of those buildings. So this is where my glare threshold comes into play again. Let's get rid of that glowiness around those buildings down there and go up with a little higher glare threshold. And another thing I think I do want to do actually is make my time just a little bit more ahead here. Not so much that the lights come on the track, just enough that it's a nice sunset. Things aren't looking blue, things are looking good. So back to the config here. Now, let's see what this is going to do. So that's going to make things a little more blue again. You see how the lines are starting to get blue and blue and blue as I go up? This is supposed to make your weather differentiate from everything else. So I'm actually going to turn this down here today because right now it's making my stuff a little blue the way that it's turned up. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let's keep on going here. We'll keep going. AO visibility is another big one. It's basically making shadows where shadows are and where they aren't more or less visual and easy to see. So I'm going to keep that about 50%. I think that looks good enough. Now, the other thing that we can do here is we can go ahead and go to the reflections, turn up the reflections a bit. I like my reflections up a bit. I like to see things in the car, on the side of the car and stuff. I like to see the reflections in the windows and everything. And we turn down the reflection saturation a bit because if you turn it up high, you get all these weird colors everywhere, and we don't want that. So now we can start changing some stuff in the sky. We can actually have the sun intensity factor up high or down low. Now, I like to have it nice and low during my sunsets. I like to have that nice, crisp, orange sky. I think that looks the best in the uh, sunset situ situations. Um, I don't know quite exactly how well I can make this based off what we have. But I would like to make this a, a little more sunsetty here. Without uh, compromising for turning on the lights on the track by it getting too dark and the time going too far. So we're going to roll with that, and I am also going to attempt this fog thing. Now, I don't know if I really want to throw the fog in, because it might completely change stuff with my clouds. But if I could get some fog coming onto the track without completely distorting all of my sunset clouds, that would be nice. So this has an option to use or to not use. So if you don't like what you're changing, you can just quickly change that off. So let's see what we can actually do here with a nice fogged sunset sort of vibe. So, I mean, you can have that, you can have that. I wouldn't mind turning this stuff down just to see how we can get it to kind of come into the track here. So making it more dense, a lot more dense with a lot uh, less distance is kind of what gets this to happen here. So we can actually have our nice, nice sunset clouds 
and still throw some fog into the area without it completely taking over. So now I have that figured out. Let's go to the sun intensity thing one more time here. So for me, I kind of like that look. Um, it could be a little darker, but it's still pretty good. Now I'm just going to change my bounce light here. As you can see, the more light that's bounced, the brighter and better your headlights are. And I want the lights to be a little more emissive at, at the uh, sunset here. I'm going to have some nice bright lights coming through. And we're going to change some bounced lights during the day. And change emissiveness during the day. Hit the brake lights. So now with that, if I just take this and I activate my chase cam here. Probably still have traction control on and everything. So I'm not going to be doing any drifts or nothing. But now, you know, you can see I got all sorts of stuff happening on the screen now. The game looks a lot better, in my opinion. I've got completely everything changed to be just exactly how I wanted it to end up. And yeah, so this was just a quick little couple minutes. Mind you, you can change everything here. Everything here is totally changeable now that you've figured it out. And you watch this, you can change everything. Now, would you rather have something like this that looks pretty cool to me? Um, the other thing actually real quick here that I do need to show you is back to the planner and back to what happens when we throw rain with wetness and, uh, puddles into the mix here. So this is now my Aceto Corsa. In a matter of however long this video took, I've done all this from scratch and I think it looks great. You know, some people might not think this looks perfect, but the whole point is that you now know how to completely change everything all by yourself, and this is just what you do. You do this for a long time, and you start to figure things out. Now, I'm not an expert, obviously, but everything here is self-taught just by learning and being picky. So I hope this helps you out. If it does, have a great day. Enjoy your new... Uh, your new found experiences with SLL config and in my opinion it looks better to have something like this than it does to have something like this or if you go back further and even go like this and then take away the road wetness and stuff and you're back to default settings. I just like to be able to change everything and play the game how I want with the weather I want. So if that works for you, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.